Welcome back everyone. In this video, we're gonna be smoking an oyster blade like a brisket. Now we're gonna get started by setting up our smoker for some indirect cooking. So we'll open it up, take our cooking grate off. We'll take our heat deflector out. Then we'll fill our charcoal basket up with either lump charcoal or briquettes. Then we'll bury a couple of fire lighters in there and get them going. All right, so the oyster blade we're working with is only around two kilos. That's why I didn't fill up our charcoal basket completely. The amount we've got in there will still last us seven to eight hours. I anticipate this cook to be around a five to six hour cook, but we've got around 10 minutes now before that charcoal is gonna be ready. So let's use that time to trim and season this oyster blade. All right, so here's our oyster blade. We picked this up from our butcher at Austral Meat. As you can see, we've got a thin layer of silver skin and fat on top, which we're gonna leave. When we get to the underside, we've got this vein here, which we wanna trim off. And then as you can see, we've got this thinner end here. We're gonna face that up just so it cooks a bit more even. So to get started, we're just gonna get our sharp knife and take this bottom vein off and any other excess fat that you can find underneath. As you can see, we've got some beautiful marbling in this piece. That's gonna really help this cut stay nice and moist. Now we're just gonna face up this end so it cooks a bit more even. Now don't throw that end piece away. As you can see, we've got that beautiful marbling there. There's a bit of gristle that runs through the entire cut, but what we can do is separate the meat from that bit of gristle, and that's where you get your flat iron steaks from. So we'll put this aside, we'll trim it up, we'll cook that for lunch while we trim the rest of this. Now I'm just gonna face up the other end as well. All right, so I'm happy with how that's looking. And now we'll trim up our little end piece. And you can always mince up any little off trim pieces. All right, so we've got our two little steaks here. They are quite thin. I reckon they'll only take about 30 to 45 seconds per side. So we'll put them aside for now and we'll come back to cook them for lunch. All right, so now it's time to season our oyster blade. We're just gonna apply a thin coat of olive oil just to help our rub stick to the meat. So grab your favorite beef rub. We're gonna be laying down some of our garlic goals as a base and then topping it with some heavenly hell, the grilled, the smoked and the lovely. So we'll go ahead and get this oyster blade seasoned up. All right, this is ready to go now, so let's have a look at this smoker. All right, so as you can see, our briquettes have caught light nicely, so we can shut our lid and we'll open up both of our vents completely. All right, so now we just wanna give our smoker five to 10 minutes to preheat and get just below our target temperature, which for this cook, we're gonna be looking to hold it around the 250 Fahrenheit or 120 Celsius range. We've also got some smoking wood ready. We're gonna be using some cherry wood from Natural Smoke. If you've got another favorite smoking wood for beef, then feel free to use that. But for now, we'll come back once this smoker's ready to go. All right, so as you can see, our barbecue's ready to go. So we'll shut this vent down a little bit, open our lid. We'll get one piece of smoking wood right over where the fire's burning and another one just off. Then we'll get our heat deflector in, then our cooking grate and our beautiful little oyster blade. Then we'll shut our lid and let this smoke away. All right, so for the first couple of hours of this cook, there's not too much to worry about. We just wanna maintain that steady, clean burning fire, which is really easy on a smoker like the Oklahoma Joe's Bronco Drum. If I wanna increase my temperature, I'll just open up that intake vent slightly. If I wanna decrease it, then I'll start shutting it down slightly. So we'll let this oyster blade go now and we'll check back in once we're a bit further into this cook. All right, our oyster blade's been going for a couple of hours now. Let's have a look at it. All right, so that is looking beautiful. Our bark's coming along nicely. Got some really good color to it. It's kind of shriveled up a bit. I'm just gonna give it a spritz. That's just gonna keep the meat nice and moist. So we'll close our lid and we'll look to wrap that up soon. All right, now we'll set the blackjack up to get this steak going. So we'll open our lid, take our cooking grate out. We'll take one of our charcoal baskets out because we only need one of them. We'll get some fire lighters going. We'll get our charcoal chimney down and we'll get enough briquettes in there for one charcoal basket worth. And now we've just got our steak back out and we'll season it up in some of our steak shooter rub. And now we'll come back when that charcoal's ready. All right, so our charcoal's pretty much ready. We'll take that out. We'll get our charcoal basket in the middle. We'll dump our charcoal in. We'll get our cooking grate back on. Then we're gonna put our utensils hot plate on top of that. Now we'll give that a few minutes to preheat. Then we'll come back to get this steak on. All right, so our hot plate is pretty much at temp. I'm just gonna lay down some beef tallow. And now we can get these steaks on. Now we're gonna give these about 45 seconds per side. All right, I reckon this thinner one is gonna be done. Get that into a foil tray to rest. 
All right, and about 15 seconds later, the thicker one is done. All right, these steaks have had a nice little rest for a few minutes. Now it's time to try. Beautiful medium rare. All right, we're just gonna to top them with some BRZ chimichurri. And now we'll get stuck into it. Seriously, how good does that look? So if you ever see flat iron steak at your butcher, definitely give it a go. It's a really tasty cut. It's got some really good texture to it. But for now, I'm gonna finish this off and then we'll come back to wrap this oyster blade up. All right, so just before we wrap this oyster blade up, I'm gonna get a few tablespoons of beef tallow into this foil tray. Then I'm gonna get that into our smoker for a few minutes to melt down. All right, our tallow has melted down nicely. Let's have a quick internal temperature check on this oyster blade. Right where I want to be, around the 160 Fahrenheit mark. So we can get this out and onto some butcher's paper. We'll pour some of that beef tallow over the top and then we'll wrap it up nice and tight. Now this can go back in the smoker. We'll also chuck a probe in at this stage as well. Now we'll shut the lid and let it keep going. All right, so our oyster blade is gonna go back into the smoker, wrapped up until we reach an internal temperature of around 205 Fahrenheit or 96 degrees Celsius. But for now, we're gonna let this oyster blade keep going and we'll be back now once we're ready to check for probe tenderness. All right, so we're just about ready to check our oyster blade for probe tenderness. And just to recap, it's been wrapped up for about two and a half hours and it's spent around the same time unwrapped at the start. So let's open up our smoker and have a look. As you can see, we're right around that internal temperature we wanna be at. So we'll open our lid. It's starting to probe quite soft, so I'll just unwrap that butcher's paper. All right, so we're right on that 205-ish Fahrenheit or 93-ish degrees Celsius internal. That's actually probing very nice. It's soft, but it's not overly soft that it's going to fall apart. If I was making pulled beef, I'd take it a bit further, but I'm happy to get that out. So we'll lift it up and bring it over to our cutting bench. All right, so we're just gonna let our oyster blade steam off for a minute to stop that cooking process. While that's happening, I'm gonna show you my new Cambro I've picked up. Now for everyday backyard sort of use, you probably won't need one of these, but once you start getting into resting like large quantities of meat, these come in super handy. So it's made out of a really heavy duty, dense foam. This will keep meat hot for hours and hours. It's got removable trays. They come in different shapes and sizes. I've got a couple of little half ones here. I'll put a link down in the description if you're interested in looking at one. I'm not sponsored or anything. It's just a really good bit of kit that I wanted you to have a look at. Now our oyster blade has had a minute to cool off. I'm just gonna wrap it back up. We're gonna rest it in the Cambro for about an hour. So obviously if you didn't have a Cambro, you can always use an old Esky. I just like these because they are front loading. I can fit three or four briskets in there and they won't be stacked on top of each other. But for now, we'll give that oyster blade a nice little rest and we'll be back when we're ready to slice and serve it. All right, it looks amazing. It smells amazing. It's nice and tender. Very juicy, let's have a taste. Mm. That is really nice, such a good texture and flavor to it. And that gristle through the middle just turns to jelly. Definitely recommend trying that if you're looking to smoke something different. And as you've seen before, they make for a great steak as well when you trim them up right. So that's the end of the video. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to ask them in the comments below. Make sure you've subscribed to our channel so you don't miss our next videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.